Dr. Martin Luther King, they are. Our freedom from the threat of the bomb by committing an immorality so great as saying to a billion human beings now enslaved behind the Iron Curtain, give up your dreams of freedom. Yes, I've got heartaches by the number. There you go again. When I opposed the day that I stopped there was another piece of legislation. From every angle, media in this age is attempting to educate or indoctrinate its audience into the creator's belief structure. We can see this done explicitly in games such as Metal Gear Rising, or implicitly in other games such as Furry Sex Pirates. In this video essay, we'll be talking about a game I'm sure most of you have played but perhaps never gave much thought. This is Politics, Fascism, and Fallout New Vegas. When you first awake from your bully-induced coma in the morning, you will buy and complete Kane and Lynch 2 Dog Days. You will have a lot of strong feelings about Kane and Lynch 2 Dog Days, and you will express those feelings to anybody within conversational distance. Go to G2A, and you will purchase 25 copies of Kane and Lynch 2 Dog Days. Then you will disseminate it to 25 co-workers via chain email and urge them to play it so you can discuss the lore during work. You will approach a random stranger at your nearest Starbucks and you will ask them if they have seen the Jacob Geller and Pyrocynical video essays about Kane and Lynch 2 Dog Days. If they haven't, you will urge them to watch both of them within 24 hours and you will imply that you will know if they do not complete this task and that there will be consequences. You will cosplay as either Kane or Lynch, preferably Lynch, at your nearest Comic Con. If anybody doesn't recognize you, you will get visibly angry and upset, and you will start talking about Kane and Lynch 2 Dog Days lore. From now on, you will start referring to yourself as either Lynch Self or Lynch Them. For the rest of your life, you will now wear a wife beater, sunglasses, a blazer, and a really bad mullet. You will tell people that due to the blown out audio and low resolution of Kane and Lynch 2 Dog Days, that is in fact high art and on the same level as Matrix Reloaded. Occasionally, you will pretend to be possessed by the ghosts of Lynch at your local gym when you're attempting to do a lightweight bench press. And if you fail the lift, you can then say, oh, I was actually possessed by Kane, and therefore was temporarily rendered bitch mate. You will have a very deep and complex knowledge of Kane and Lynch 2 Dog Days lore. Any conversation that you have, you will sway the subject into Kane and Lynch 2 lore without any regard to social cues whatsoever. When you're walking down the street and you see somebody with a really fucked up haircut like a mullet or something, you now have an obligation to point at them and say, Look, Dad, it's Kane and Lynch 2 Dog Days. <laughs> you will buy multiple unlicensed Redbubble t-shirts of the Kane and Lynch 2 Dog Days cover and you will wear them throughout the week and never wash them. Frequently, from now on, you will LARP as a schizophrenic. You will go to every GameStop within 50 miles of your home and you will buy every copy of Kane and Lynch 2 Dog Days for the Xbox 360. You will go to your nearest Jimmy John's and buy a sandwich and when you go to pay, you will pull out your 360 copy of Kane and Lynch and repeatedly and violently swipe it into the card reader. When it doesn't work, you will ask for a manager. 